All right, hey guys, Slim from Theme Park Hunting here, and today we are at our second theme park here on our Europe trip. This is Wallaby, Belgium. This was a very last minute stop. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to show this. Okay, like this is so surreal seeing in person. We have Pulsar and Psyche Underground. The Mac Power Splash and the Enclosed Shuttle Loop. I've seen the pictures of that. Oh my gosh, it's crazy in person. Anyways, I am walking over to the Boomerang to get over with because um, we're also going to Paris tonight. I really want to explore Paris, check out the city because it's Paris. Who doesn't? So we're stopping here before. It was a very last minute stop. And yeah, we're going to go in. And I'm going to try and get on every coaster here as quick as I can and hopefully get a couple rides on Honda. So we're at the Boomerang already. I'm just going to get in, get on and get on the rest of the park. Credit number one, Cobra, done. Honestly, that's the best boomerang I've done. It was super smooth. It was honestly just a really fun ride, really good time. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of boomerangs, that one, not gonna lie. I really enjoyed. So yeah, headed down with Cobra. Heading down here, I think the next one is Fun Pilot. Fun Pilot, yeah. pilot there and yeah that was fun you could tell it was a lot smoother than every other of those clones I've done so not much just a kids coaster next up though it's time for Psyche Underground this indoor Schwarzkopf shuttle loop sounds super weird I love shuttle loops let's go Roller coaster number three, check. Psyche Underground. That was great. I, I, you know, I've heard a lot of crap on that ride because of like, it's not one of the best shuttle loops. It's not that good. I haven't done a shuttle loop in years, so it was good to get back on one. And even though it barely goes up that back spike, that loop, when you launch and you go through it, that is one of the most intense loops out there. I forgot how insane Schwarzkopf's are. Like, Wow, that loop was powerful and that forward spike was great. Going backwards through it, you get some great hang time. The theme of it was really cool. I really like all the flashing lights on it. I really like all the themes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I love Europe so much. Um, next, it's time for Conda. The main reason why everyone comes here, this insane new Intamin roller coaster. Let's go. I don't think you're ready. I really don't think I am either. Here we go. Here we go.
why? It doesn't. It just throws. <laughs> All right, yeah, condo was everything I wanted it to be, and better. That was that was insane. Back row ride, as you saw, was messed up, and then we did it again in the front. That's a front row coaster. Every airtime hill delivered, just threw you over everything. Every turn on that ride was intense. Scott said, Scott said it was a lot better than the last time we rode it. Yeah, well, the last time I rode it, I mean, I rode it, I can't say how many times, but I had a camera every time I rode it. So I was focusing more on filming than actually riding it. Now that I actually got to ride it, I mean, it just, I mean, it literally moved up my list probably 10 spots. It's such an incredible ride. The pacing is fantastic. It's intense. The airtime is outrageous. Uh, it just has such unique elements to it. Uh, really, uh, really a home run coaster. Definitely in my top 10 now. It's so different from any other hyper that I've ridden ever. It's just so unique. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna get more rides on it. But now it's time for credit number five, Gershaw Bobsled Tiki Walker. Tiki Waka. That was a very fun coaster. I mean, there's not much else to say. It didn't really do anything. It didn't have airtime. It didn't have anything. It's just fun. Just kind of went through that layout. It was very smooth. Just, yeah, it was just a fun kind of coaster, just meandering around. Great ride. I'm not complaining about it at all. Just a really, really good old fun family coaster. So I didn't even know this ride existed. This is the Challenger 2 in Comets. And when I looked it up, it said it was a dark ride. So I'm like, sweet, let's go ride this dark ride. There's like animatronics everywhere in this queue line. This is sick. I'm, I didn't even know it's existed, so let's go. And then there's this weird animatronic. Okay, when you come to Wallaby, Belgium, do not miss out on the Curse of Tutankhamen, whatever that thing is called. That was the biggest surprise so far this trip. That was one of the coolest dark rides, coolest interactive dark rides I've ever been on. Like, the only interactive one I'd say I've been more impressed with is Men in Black. And then that's number two, because there, it was all animatronics, it was long, and it was loaded with like massive, impressive animatronics from start to finish. And that whole ride, it looked like it had different scenes because when we came out, there were three different doors and people were coming out of those doors. So it looks like there's multiple scenes. Like every time you ride, it's a new experience. It's absolutely insane. That, that blew my mind. That was so good. It definitely blew all my expectations out of the water. That was so cool. Do not miss out on that hidden gem here at Wallaby Belgium. So it's time for this really cool log flume called Flashback. Has a double down drop, a backward section. It looks really interesting. And this queue is like really cool, like just going over the water. Let's go check it out. That looks cool. Oh, I'm excited for this. This should be really, really good. Well, the log food got a bit more wet than intended. But it was still really fun. The three drops on it were really good. I love that opening section. That was a blast. I will take that over uh, the Rio Bravo one we did yesterday. Flashback was really good. Next up, now we're in time for one of my most anticipated rides here. Pulsar, the Mach Power Splash. I'm so interested in this thing. Let's see what it's all about. Um, Pulsar. 
Uh, do not sit on an end seat. That, that's my advice. Because as you see, he's dry. I'm, I'm, I'm quite the opposite. That was really fun. The airtime on that hill is surprisingly really good. And the spikes are a lot of fun. And that splash, it's hot today, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So it felt kind of nice, but uh, a bit more than I was expecting. But honestly, that's such a cool concept. Like, Moore Park should really invest in a ride like that. Because that is by far one of the best water rides I've ever been on. All right, Calamity Mine is up next. I love the bird there. That looks like one of the Splash Mountain Crows, that's sad. Right, Calamity Mine, done. Another coaster. And yeah, yeah, it's a mine train. It exists. I don't know. It's about all I have to say. It, it, it's one of the better ones, I'll give it that. And that was my first like traditional Vacoma mine train. So it, it was interesting finally again to see what that's about. Personally, I think it's I think when you have Big Thunder Mountain, nothing can top that and nothing should try to. So yeah, it was, it was okay. It wasn't anything bad, but it wasn't anything good either. Again, another operating Hus topspin. This one buzzsaw. What is with these things being everywhere in Europe? All right, next time it's time for Loop Guru, also known as Werewolf in English. So interesting about this coaster, it is made by Vacoma, which means it is one of the only remaining Vacoma wooden coasters left. This should be very interesting. that wooden coaster what what on earth was that that uh, an old Vacoma wooden coaster is about what it is it it was so so rough but the airtime was also weirdly really good like the layout was so good but the ride was just oh there was this one hill that uh, flung you out of your seat that was I do not remember the ride having that crazy of air time. That hill, like, there's that trim break on that hill, and then you see the tiny little hill after it, and I was like, oh no, oh no. But like, at, like almost every hill delivered on it though. Like, that was actually really impressive. I mean, it's rough, but if that thing got some retracking onto it, it's got a wonderful layout. I agree. If I got like Gravity Group pre cut on that whole layout, that'd be so good. That was just such a weird, weird ride. All right, one coaster left. And unfortunately, it's an SLC. Oh, all right, we did the SLC. I'm not happy. It was, yeah, it was an SLC. Sure was. It, yeah, it was an SLC. That's about it for that well that's gonna do it for our day here at wallaby belgium what a phenomenal park great to just go in get everything done that we need in a great amount of time and still get three rides on conda and a ride on every other ride here it was just a blast this park was super fun so far i mean out of my two parks is my favorite on the trip conda was absolutely incredible along with pulsar that was great the log flume still really surprised me the dark rides shocked me here the dark rides were incredible Overall, do not sleep on this park. Definitely stop by for in the Brussels area. It's really close to downtown Brussels. So I highly recommend it. So I'll do it. We'll see you guys next 
at Park Asterix. And yeah, it's gonna be great rest of the trip. So we'll see you guys later. Never forget to follow the thrill.